repeat uncle. Mmm, juice heaven. So juicy. Oh my gosh. Hello everyone, welcome to Happy Hour with Ollie. I'm Ollie and what are we drinking today? Today we are at Moon Underwater Brewery Pub located in Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. As you can see, I've got here a tasting flight of four and some fancy fish and chips. The halibut has been dipped in batter that's made with their Potts Pilsner. Look at this, it looks so good. Whoa, look at that halibut goodness. Right, just a little bit of sauce, not too much. Mmm, the fish is very fresh. The beer batter is actually very light, very crunchy, and like it gives the perfect texture. The tartar sauce, is really nice and tangy and it provides that little bit of acidity which can cut through the grease it's really good let me try one of the fries the chips the chips are just regular bar chips but they're good Right, now that I got some food in my tummy, it's time to get drinking. First up, we have this. The name of this beer is called This Is Hefeweizen. As you can see, it's lovely tea colored, amberish color, cloudy, not quite see through. This one will be fruity for sure, because usually German Hefeweizens will have flavors that are sometimes not typical flavors that you would think of when you think of beer. So things like um, banana, mm, like a bready kind of taste, cloves. So I'll be looking for that in here. Mmm, it does smell. It does smell like banana. <laughs> so this is quite a light, at most medium body. It's very, very smooth very sweet. There's like a sweet fruity, um, kind of that banana-y sweetness, but there's also sweetness from grain as well. And I really enjoy that malt sweetness. It goes really well with my fish and chips, in fact. I would say this is more of like a juicy finish, but it's really good. Okay, up next, this one is called Creepy Uncle. I don't know why they called it the Creepy Uncle, but it is their Dunkel Lager. So Dunkel is just the German word for dark. As you can see, it is quite see-through. It's a lovely kind of burnt amber, burnt caramel kind of color. To the nose, right away I'm just getting a lot of that multi grainy sweet smell. Mm. Mm. So being a lager, it is lighter. I feel like as this beer enters my mouth, it brings with it like lovely warm notes of nuttiness. I think I taste notes of vanilla in there. It's so lovely and very soothing and warm and it has a very juicy ending. Even as that beer is fading from my tongue, oh, I can savor the sweetness. If you're one for sweet beers, you'll like this one for sure. Time for the most anticipated glass of all. This is the Hip As Funk. Farm IPA. As you can see, lovely, hazy, golden, very fruity on the nose. Seems like this is the trend <laughs> with this brewery. I don't get a specific type of fruit so far just by smelling it. Oh, oh, 
juice heaven. Oh, so juicy. Oh my gosh. It's super smooth, medium body. As soon as it enters your mouth, it's sweet. Oh, it's a lovely burst of like juicy sweet. It has complexity as well. Just when you think, oh, this is getting like a really too sweet, it turns into a kind of lovely bitter sweet. And it's that little bit of bitterness from the hops that really like rounds out the flavor of the beer and makes it so that it's not too sickly sweet. Oh, it's really intriguing. This has the best of many worlds. I love this, so good. For the lucky last. This one is called the Tuku. So this is a special edition limited release. This beer has been aged in wine barrels. On the tasting notes, it did say kiwi and passion fruit. Mm, so we'll see. It still smells like beer to me. I smell some hops and some lovely fruit flavors, malt flavors. As you can see, lovely golden. Oh, salt with lemon when you drink tequila. This is like that. Right away, the tangy savoriness hits you. And then about like two seconds after, all the fruitiness comes after that. I do get kiwi, I don't get passion fruit. And I get kiwi because it's that tang, and then there's a kick. Wow. Talk about an interesting brew. This is one of the reasons that I love coming to breweries, because you get a taste of what they're really good at. In this case, Moon Underwater is really good at German-style beers, and then you get to try like little gems, little special edition things that, you know, they don't release in uh, massive amounts. I'm gonna be honest with you, this is not gonna be my favorite, but I am intrigued. I, I find this glass of beer super interesting, super puzzling, super complex. And yeah, now I just wish I had a little bit more food. <laughs> I really enjoyed my time at Moon Underwater Brewery. Although we sat outside, inside the decor is actually really nice. There's lots of German, Bavarian-esque furniture and decor. They offer quite a variety of brews, mostly German style stuff. I, I feel like that's what they're really good at. They did have quite a few sours that I didn't try just because I'm not such a sour person. But for my friends out there who love sours, they have lemon meringue sours, um, cherry, coconut sours. It's kind of located in an industrial warehouse kind of district. So it's easy to find lots of parking space nearby. They offer quite a large range of food. Our fish and chips was really, really good. So I'm really happy with that. Do you like German style beers? Do you have other German style breweries that you would like to recommend to me? Please comment below and let me know. And be sure to click on the like and subscribe button so you'll never miss out on a happy hour adventure with me. Be sure to look me up on Instagram and use the hashtag happy hour with Ali. Until we drink again next time, cheers mates! Bye!